the questions that I often get asked is, is familial Alzheimer's disease just like older, more typical, what we call sporadic Alzheimer's disease? And if you asked a pathologist, looking at the brain of somebody who had had familial Alzheimer's disease, had had a gene identified as the cause of their, of their Alzheimer's disease, the brains would look quite similar. But there are some important features. Obviously, it's inherited, it gets passed down. That's different to typical Alzheimer's disease. Secondly, it's usually much younger. So if there's an onset in, 30s or, in one's 30s or 40s of Alzheimer's disease, and it is truly that, not something else, then it's much more likely that it is the familial inherited form. But there are some other um, aspects Perhaps it's because it's very young onset, or perhaps it's due to the gene, that mean that you, the, the disease can look a little bit different. So m memory problems are common to both of them. Cognitive decline, loss of abilities to do things, are common to the typical older onset and the familial form. But the familial form is people may get some unusual features, like stiff legs and difficulty in walking, which we wouldn't normally see in typical Alzheimer's disease. Seizures are more common, and myoclonic jerks, which are little sort of twitchy movements, are more common, probably because people get it more young, at a younger age, but maybe because of the gen gene that's driving the Alzheimer's disease. Mm -hmm.